a nice day. Mm. It ended up being beautiful oh, out. It? it was gorgeous, almost almost hinting toward late spring, early summer. Yes, right? yes it and was. only going to get yes, a little warmer, but some rain, which yeah. we need. Oh, well, well, boy, do we need the rain. That's We're just getting a lot of it, though. You know, we, we can't do anything small, right? right. No, it's, we go all in. We do. That's exactly <laughs> what we're doing. We're all in for the rain. Grab the umbrella, all of them. All right, let's go ahead and take a look at what you're going to see over the next three days. You're going to need to carry those umbrellas with you because you are going to be dealing with rain. The other thing you're going to be dealing with is uh, temperatures that are going to be very mild into the 60s again tomorrow. Today we were in the mid 60s. Tomorrow I think we'll be in the mid to upper 60s. And then we're going to see a little bit of a temperature drop. We're going to go on Friday back to the 50s, which is where we should be this time of year. But we're so terribly spoiled that we're just calling it cool temperatures on Friday rather than seasonable temperatures. Our next weather radar and satellite, you can see that the clouds are filling in. And off to the west, you can see that this little batch of rain is going to make its way into the area overnight tonight. Now, this is the first of several disturbances that's going to come through. So this one is going to bring us some shower activity into the morning. We also have another disturbance that is now launching out of the Rockies, and it is headed our way as well. So we have two things that are going on here. Both of them are riding along a frontal boundary. We have this warm front that's going to lift northward. We had one warm front come through today already, and that's why we saw the temperature soaring into the 60s with those southerly winds. So this will lift through as well, and it'll keep us warm for tomorrow as this little disturbance rides through. Then we get a bit of a break, and the bigger disturbance comes through on Saturday. That's the day that we're going to see the heavier rain moving into the area. So timing it all out, we are going to watch these clouds thicken overnight, a few spotty showers about 7 o'clock in the morning. Then we see this steady rain come through. This is going to be later in the morning. This will move out fairly quickly. I think we may even get some peaks of sunshine in the afternoon. Then more scattered showers coming through overnight. And then that frontal boundary sags back southward, and that pulls in cooler air. And a lot of the rain on Friday, yeah, we're going to have it on Friday, is going to stay south and east of the area. Then Friday night, into Saturday. Here comes that next system coming out of the Rockies. Steady rain at times. We'll get a break in the afternoon. Could even see a few thunderstorms overnight. This is at 11 o'clock at night before this entire thing clears out for your Sunday. How much rain are we looking at? Some places could pick up more than an inch of rain. I think that's specifically going to be down the shore, South Jersey and Delaware. The rest of the area, maybe a half inch to an inch of rain. So we have the rain on Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Sunday is our break. Monday and Tuesday, we have showers once again. So it's a wet stretch. 67 tomorrow in Philadelphia, 66 down the shore, and we're looking at 64 in the Lehigh Valley. Then we drop slightly to 57 on Friday, 54 Saturday. That's the wettest day. And then we set ourselves up for a beautiful Sunday before we grab the umbrella into early next week once again. Yuki?